Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. The movement of Grand Alliance with People's Democratic Party, National Conference and Congress joining hands will be remembered in the long history of Jammu and Kashmir from now. Though the Governor Satyapal Malik dissolved the Assembly, soon after the former Chief Minister Mehbooba Mufti wrote to him to stake claim to form a government, the verbal commitment between the arch rivals, the PDP and the National Conference was a master stroke in the state's politics. Political analysts say both the parties were aware of the design and plan of Bharatiya Janata Party, thus they came together to break it. There has been a deep resentment against the PDP's decision of aligning with the BJP in the valley. Whether or not the government was formed, the situation in the Kashmir Valley has deteriorated over the last five years. Kashmir watchers say PDP has lost credibility on the ground. Had this government formed, Mehbooba would have gained something from it, but for now, the only thing that went in PDP's favour is that the party will remain intact for now. The National Conference, which was reduced to 15 seats after a full six years term in 2014, has gained maximum out of this decision. Experts say if the new elections were held in the state right now, possibilities of National Conference forming a government are more likely. However, the challenge is to mobilize people in the current environment across the state. Today, Congress, which was completely decimated in the 2014 elections by the BJP, also has some hopes in the state. But the BJP's calculations went absolutely wrong in the region. This is Rahiba Parveen for The Print.